732. I feel like we've been talking about this for quite some time, <laughs> and now the time has come. Early voting getting underway in New York tomorrow. Pix 11, of course, your uh, local election headquarters, making sure that you're prepared before you head to the polls. And so we're in the home stretch until Election Day, and there are some very important things that you should know before you cast your ballot. So here with a step-by-step -step voter guide is Michael Ryan, the executive director of the New York City Board of Elections. And he is joined by Vincent Guzio, the deputy executive director. Great morning. to have you both. Great to Good have morning. you here. Um, so there are some key dates that folks need to be aware of before the actual voting day. So let's talk about that. Early voting is in effect. How long will that be? Early voting starts tomorrow, and it runs Saturday and Sunday of this week, all of next week, and Saturday and Sunday of the following week. And is it too late to register? Uh, it is not too late to register. The last day to register is tomorrow, the first day of early voting. All right. Your polling location, the same for early voting as if it would be on election day? No, we have about 155, uh, not about, we have 155 early voting locations spread throughout the city and we'll have 1,211 on election day. Okay. We have 96 hours of voting, the most, wow. the most in the state early voting. If you don't want to wait online, nobody wants to wait online. Right, no. right, right. Go vote early. Go to your early voting sites. Vote.nyc, vote.nyc, vote.nyc. <laughs> Find out where your early voting site is. Get out and vote early because there will be lines because most people want to vote between 5 and 8 p.m. on election day. So it's only 1,200 sites. So and, again, and again, where do we go? Uh, <laughs> Vote.nyc. Okay, great information. Okay, so I'm looking at this ballot um, and it can be a little intimidating. What should we make sure? that we don't miss when we're looking at this so ballot. So this year, in addition to candidates, we have uh, six propositions, one for the state, uh, five for the city. There's various topics that are on the propositions. You can find the propositions in simple language, not only on the ballot, which is a new law, uh, but you can also find it on the website. You might have heard it's vote.nyc. Yeah. And if we can walk through, <laughs> look, we set up our very own WPIX voting election site here right you can show you right now how it works for your for your viewers right, to you want to streamline that process. process right and so right, that's right. why you got to learn about these pr proposals and these props beforehand right Correct. Because well, you're, and you get there and, and it's pretty lengthy sometimes on the right. ballot when you're looking at it so walk us through the process when you arrive but especially in years where there's props on the ballot you want to get familiar with those before you get to the full site there, yes. because it could really slow up the process if people are trying to read them when they get there right so you come in yep come over to the sign in booth you okay. would sign right here get started Get self-started. So what do I do? Manual right. entry? So that would be for the poll worker to oh, set gotcha. that up okay. and then get it to the spot where you could check in. Or this okay. was mailed to I everyone. Have that. Yes, please right. yes. use your Excellent. fast pass. pass. This this gets you to fast right pass. to your E D and A D, your oh, fast gotcha. pass. Okay. It could also go in your wallet on your uh, iPhone or nice. so your phone. Now you come over and you're gonna get a ballot. Mm -hmm. You will take the ballot. This is your privacy booth. You'll right, go okay. behind here. You'll fill out your ballot. Voting. Okay. Check, 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 check. Flip Make it sure over. Make sure you flip over to, for the props. Props. And now you okay. go into your scanning booth. And, and what do you have to do? Just you place side. it in the Slide same way right you would in. for a copy machine. We, okay. That's, Boom. And that's it. And it'll tell you right here, scanning ballot, please wait. Yep. Okay, so while that does that, let me just ask you this, because you know I'm up. And there you go. <laughs> Thank you for voting. Very it's nice. It's been counted. And the only difference. And the hard copy is in here. And right. the only difference is you'll have. Privacy, privacy uh, sleeves spot. on either side okay. uh, to protect I'm your privacy. I'm going to ask you about yes. these machines. This is sometimes what you run into problems with, right? The machines get jammed, whatever it may be. Some of the places don't have a machines. We go through this almost every election day. How are you prepared for that kind of moment with the turnout you're expecting? So one of the things that we were uh, blamed for prior to 2018 uh, were ballot changes. We had pe petitioned the New York State Legislature to remove uh, the perforations on the ballot because that was one of the big issues leading to ballot jams. Uh, these machines can be sensitive. The state legislature heard our call. They've changed the law. We don't have perforated ballots anymore. Uh, and we've seen a remarkable, almost non-existent number of jams. But if a machine should go out, and it can happen, we have teams uh, strategically located throughout New York City to come and either fix the machine on site or bring a replacement machine. Yeah, we it have redundancy. I mean, we yeah. have 43,000 yeah. poll workers working on election wow. day to service the voters. So we are prepared. We have contingency plans built in and we're good to go. We just wanted you to come out and vote. Vote early, please. Vote early. Mm -hmm. right. Can we fly through real quickly the uh, props that are lo the local propositions? I know it's going to, we have only have a couple of minutes, but just going through the proposals that are on the back. Right, so there's various proposals. Uh, some of them ha are political in nature. Yeah. So we try not to uh, 
advocate one way or the other, mm -hmm. but the best thing to do, there's six of them, five are related to the operation of city government, one is related to a constitutional amendment for the state, uh, and for the folks that are interested in that, uh, they can go to our website, review them. We'll also have big uh, hang-up banners in the poll sites with the propositions on them, so if people didn't yeah. do that, they can they can review them. And what a lot of people do is they forget to flip it over. Yes, I, right. I've done it a million times. Like, oh yeah. my, the propositions, or my wife will say we forgot. Yeah. you forget to flip it. Flip over your ballot. Make sure you're done. Take your time and fill out your ballot properly. Scan it in. Let make sure your vote counts. Yeah, I think we have it for your website, and uh, which again is vote. Um, Vote.myc. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and we have it on bigsummit.com, too. But also, we're doing a special show next week, Election 101, kind of to go through the proposals. I know you can't, so we're going to do it for them, too. I know right. early voting this weekend. But here's the question. If you don't want to vote on the proposals, right, because some people are like, well, I just don't want I don't have a skin in that game, or whatever it may be. That's, right. fine. That's okay, right? Yeah. So you can just fill out the front part of the ballot. Yes. Yeah, you, you may, can vote for you may as get, much or as little of the yeah. ballot as you want. You okay. may get an, a message on the machine that says you that you it. didn't do it, and then you just hit, I cast my ballot anyway, uh, and it'll go through, and it's no okay. problem. What happens if you show up and your name isn't on the registration list. So, so the good thing is, we we are now more than ever having more information owing to the uh, owing to the poll pads uh, about people that might not be on for a particular reason. Let's say, for example, a piece of mail got returned to us uh, and you're inactive. Mm. It will show now in the poll pad. Before, we weren't allowed to do it. Now we can. Okay. And we'll say, you're inactive. Sorry, you are on the list, but you're inactive. Mm. You can go over to the affidavit table, fill out an affidavit ballot. That will serve two purposes. One, you'll vote. And two, it will reactivate your inactive status. I see. It's kind so, of the catch -all. Right. The before, the poll sites were blind to that when we were only using uh, the paper. paper balance. That's what I'm asking. So Correct. The, are you still using that? Because that also slowed things down. No, this, this, this is, this this is, is the poll list yeah. now. That is. Okay, this great. iPad is the poll list, and it also has, we have 4.7 million active voters and about another half a million inactive voters. Mm -hmm. The inactive voters since last year are now permitted by law to be visible in the iPad. You can't vote. It's kind of yeah. like grade over. You can't vote uh, without using the affidavit process, mm -hmm. but you're still there. And we now have the ability to explain to a voter why they have exactly. to go to the affidavit gotcha. table. Right. And that has driven down the number of in poll site complaints. Yeah. Okay, I gauge it by what comes to my attention, and mm -hmm. if it doesn't come to my attention, uh, that's a good thing. All right. Well, we have the bar very high. You know, we're right? ready. <laughs> bring All on right, the voters. We're good. ready. All right. Good to have both of you here. It's going to be a busy ten days. Thank you for walking us through some of that sure. process. Appreciate it. Don't forget, it's uh, vote. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> this one with the joke.